here with Bennett Perlman, an artist who just donated 73 of his works to Maryland Public Television. Benner Perlman, a native of Baltimore, is an art critic, author, art professor, lecturer, and artist. How many years have you been an artist? More than I want to say. No, I started out, I guess, when I was 14. I think one of the first paintings I did was of uh, a Marley Creek down in Glen Burnie. I just love the, the, uh, the composition of that, the way the uh, edge of the field and the, uh, the stream went up across a bridge and then a zigzag through the whole composition. I'm, I've always been interested in design and composition. That's one of my, I think, the major thing that I try to stress when I paint. What inspired you to become an artist? Did you always want to be in, in the arts? Yes, it did. My father was an electrical contractor, and he expected me to, uh, uh, to follow in his footsteps as an only child. And one day when I was at 49, which was an, excel an accelerated uh, uh, junior high school, you made three semesters in uh, two years. So you were there for all six semesters, but you were only there for two years instead of three, as you would. 7th, 8th, and ninth grade. So, um, the art teacher, uh, Zilla Bennett, she said one day, I want you to bring your father down to school tomorrow. The principal wants to talk to him. Well, that didn't happen in those days. I mean, you just didn't have that. And I thought, I'm not going to tell him. And then I thought, if I don't tell him, they're going to call up at 9 o'clock and say, where's your son? So, I decided I would do it, and he came down, and she explained that City College was one of three schools in the whole high schools in the whole country where what they were doing was giving scholarships, giving an actual program to these schools. They had an art major at Forest Park, at Western, at most of the schools. That was one period of art five days a week at the end of the day. But this was going to be two periods of art. And I thought, gee, I'm lucky. I wouldn't have to cut up frogs and all that. I'll miss biology. So uh, at, when this was all over, uh, and it was explained to me, my father, he turned to me and said, well, what do you want to do better? It was the greatest moment of my life because I said, I'd rather be an artist. Out of the 73 works that Mr. Perlman gave or donated to Maryland Public Television, I brought five different... So he can explain his art, his techniques, and his charcoals, pastels, ink and pen. So this the first one, and this is uh, ink and pen and ink, right? Right. And this is, as anybody would know, since I was just talking about the Maryland Institute, this is part of the campus of the Maryland Institute College of Art, and it used to be uh, better known as being a railroad station. And this is an example of charcoal and white pastel. Right. Uh, this is a work that I did. It isn't, wasn't really done between 1988 and 99. This was done in 1951, about the same time as that first painting that I uh, showed you called Across the Harbor. And I was always attracted by boats, and this is the marina. You can see in the background the Hanover Street Bridge. And I was just uh, uh, mesmerized by the, ver by the variety of the, uh, uh, the uh, boats that are in the harbor at that time. This is a 100% charcoal. You're right there. And this is a, a portrait of Evergreen House, which has always intrigued me because of its architecture and because some of the art that is within but also the fact that it's between the campuses of Loyola College and uh, Mount St. Agnes. Now we have an example of a pastel. That's right. And this is Camden Station. I had to give equal time since I should have gone to the B&O Station. And of course, any aficionado of the Orioles or even the Ravens, because they're not too far away in their stadium, uh, this is uh, the area where you depart usually with uh, more than just empty rails. Uh, to go to the games. And I always loved this architecturally. Many of the works that I chose to, to draw around the city and state were done primarily, well, I shouldn't say primarily. A lot of it had to do with what I thought about the work itself. We also have a collection of tall ships, and I think it's a lovely collection, so we'll let you explain a little bit about the tall ships. Yes. Most people who've been in Baltimore more than 30 years remember that in 1976, we had the bicentennial. And about 15 of the tall ships were sent to New York Harbor, as I guess you would expect. And half of them then, after that big uh, brouhaha, after that big display and the fireworks and all, half of them came to Baltimore, the other half went to Boston. So there were seven tall ships. Uh, I 
sort of resented the fact that before they got to Baltimore, uh, the ones that were sent down here to sell, obviously, most of them were photographs, and they would have photographs of New York Harbor in the background. And being a loyal Baltimorean, I thought, that isn't right. Why should we have stuff for sale here featuring New York? Maryland Public Television would like to thank Mr. Perlman for donating his 73 works of art. Maryland Public Television will hold its online auction April 28th and May the 7th, where you'll have a wonderful opportunity to build his works. We'd like to thank Mr. Perlman again.